Hi everybody. We're going to do a quick video and we're doing it kind of backwards today. So welcome to my place and we're going to start out with a quick orchid tour. And then of course it was Friday today. Friday we go grocery shopping and what did we do Maggie? What did we do? We bought an orchid. They were on special. That's the only excuse. And like I say, it's like potato chips. <laughs> anyway, so, and I have one problem. I want to uh, do a close-up. When I finish the tour, I'm going to do a close-up of a couple pots that I have that I want to check because I'm not happy with, and you can check with me. So, uh, okay, I'm going to start the tour, and then I'll set you up in the seat. You won't see me because quite often, I'm in it too much and I just want to show what I'm doing, so, okay. <laughs> right, Maggie? You say hi to all the little kids in there out there? Hmm? Okay. Okay, here we go. The misters are working really good. The uh, slipper orchids, slow poke is still there, but slow. I'm thinking maybe more water. I don't know. We're going to up the water for a while. But they're healthy. That's one good thing. Leaves are healthy. Things are growing quite nicely. So in the back, we have very pretty. Okay. Almost all of the orchids are coming in to bloom. There's the minis in the sewer pot. Oops. There's two in the back that are just uh, uh, not sprouting any spikes, but they're happy. So now in the front, the other fountain. So I have three, four humidity stations. I have one back here. It is very dry because our furnace is on all the time because of the cold weather. So this is the one I want to discuss. So here's the new ones. They seem to be doing fine and I've been giving them with the watering can. There might be some water left in there, yeah. Some water halfway through, say Wednesdays. And uh, then watering day is tomorrow. So this is the one I didn't repot too long ago. So I'm hoping it will... Remember I wrapped the paper towels around the aerial roots. So, okay, now this is one I almost lost. It paid to hang in there with it. It's just got this one opening and over here. So this is Tequila Sunrise. And she was in the pot that I decided, my first pot that the orchids did not like. It was killing it. And uh, even though the leaves didn't fall off, they weren't happy. And so um, we got flowers and they're beautiful. So we're going to head into the kitchen. Well, I do have some room on that top shelf, but I've been holding off on it. <laughs> and there's my two dendrobiums. I'm not good with dendrobiums. I'm trying. So we'll see. Okay, into the kitchen. Now, let me give you a close-up. There's so many ice in here. It feels like spring, even if it's not. Yeah. I'll just show you that one. And, of course, Moon Glow. Hmm. <laughs> is always beautiful for so many years. So many years of beauty from this one. Yeah, one of my first orchids. Big air holes. Just an old pot I painted. So in the back, this one first came out in the beginning, December. The white one is up. Uh, it finished, and I trimmed it off to see if it can get more because the leaves are healthy, the plant's healthy, and that's when I don't mind. But the purple ones, they're still holding on there. 
and I'll just turn this part around. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Okay, that's probably far enough. Another orange one. Remember I said I didn't have enough orange ones? This one's a beauty. Lots of leaves on the plant. It's happy. These ones, even up to this size pot, I did give them a little water, but all the small pots like this, they got a fairly good watering. So this one's been since December, still hanging in there. It's very beautiful. And in the back here, it's one I potted last year, and it still came in spikes, so it's growing some flowers. And up at the top, at the hanging basket, Now you be good, no mischievousness. Hmm? Maggie, you better come up. Here, we're just going to deal with the doggy. You come up on your bed, okay? Up, up. Okay, now I don't know what you've been eating there, but <laughs> there, you be a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, yeah, you stay there. Okay, onward. Now we got spikes in the back here. We still got lots coming. Sorry about the chimes. We like them. <laughs> here. Oh, just beautiful. This one's been in bloom a long time. Two. We're going to see how many months they hang on. Of course, this is the one I almost lost. It went down to two leaves. Leaves are healthy now. Plant is healthy. Okay, we have three bowls here too for misting. This fountain and the two mister bowls that we made. Okay, am I forgetting anybody? Okay, we have a little one coming here. I'm keeping it near the water fountain. Where are you? There you are. It's going to come in soon. And that's how it looks the day before watering, but these did get a little bit of water, but if I was to go down in there, he'll be ready tomorrow. So, and then we have this one and this pot. So we're doing good. We have so many blooms. It's so wonderful. And it does up your spirits, boy, this time of the year. It's, uh, we've been pretty lucky, but boy, oh boy, if you're really, really cold back east, I, you know. <laughs> and uh, the large road traffic cone, lots of leaves, they look healthy, and we're still waiting for spikes. And that's what I want to discuss. So over here, we have... The one I'm still waiting, it'll get some roots. It has no roots. It's Mum's Little Kyoto Twinkle Chocolate Drop. It well, came as a no name, but with the help of Anna, I named it. Thank you, Anna. And uh, we have another little one here. And in the back. There we go. So I'm going to set you up at the sink so you can see what I'm doing and uh, maybe at first I'll just slowly okay I have this is the one of my oldest orchids it's in the plastic uh, it was the bottom of a heater and I put the dirty pour and Jack made the frame and it's been trying to bloom for quite a while and it's either too dry or too wet. And I did even give this a little bit of water yesterday. But I'm going to dig down there because I'll show you why. Up we come up the spike. The first flower that came out is looking after that one. But it's this one. So this is telling me if you have an orchid that is trying to open and taking forever. It could be a water issue and with the furnace on all the time in a very cold winter, it could be 
the pot or you're giving it too much water and I'm not sure about this one so I have a bowl in the sink here and I'm just going to dig out as much bark as I can without having it go down the drain hole. I think I should have put, hold on, there, I think I should put that in there. Whoops, sorry, <laughs> that's better. Okay, now let's just see what's happening. Now I repotted this one uh, this year, if you remember, because I was uh, worried about it. It is trying to grow something here, and this has been ongoing for some time. Now, uh, like I say, this is, I think, my first orchid, and so it's quite a few years old, and that's why I put it in this, because this long monopodial stem goes right down to the bottom, and I didn't want to cut it off, but uh, sometime in the future I may have to. So as I'm emptying this out, you'll see pieces of um, little bits of lava rock there and some charcoal and some little bits of crumbled cement, old mortar from bricks. So I'm just going to keep digging until I get down inside. At least I don't have to worry about them going down the drain. And you can see exactly what is in this pot. I feel, because I did give it a little water yesterday because I was concerned, but I, now that I'm getting down there, I feel dampness now, whether it's just from the water yesterday. But I don't mind even unpotting the whole thing if I have to because I am concerned about it. It's like um, if you have... Uh, one of your children and you, they might be their oldest and you might think they know what they're doing but you're very concerned so you have to check up on them <laughs> see if you can steer them in a better direction I feel dampness in the very bottom but as you can see the top is very dry I just may end up pulling the whole orchid out of here and repotting it again after I've had a good look at it I don't see any green roots, so that part I'm not liking. I see lots of dry ones. Why are you crying? Maggie, don't cry. <laughs> Do you ever feel sad and if you're crying, don't cry. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know. It's not all about you. There's definite damp dampness way down inside. And I think if I took this whole thing out of here, I think it would, at this stage of the game, hurt it. I'm looking for some green roots. I'm not finding any. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe a little long and consuming task. But. See, this is what you can do with your little ones. It's not, um, it's not as difficult. There's not as much bark in there. But yeah, I want to see what's going on in here. Uh, Okay, I know you're on a spike. I think I'm going to unclip this and unclip that. Okay, you're free from your spike. And I'm taking that off. Okay, now, if I can, maybe I can set this. Sorry, you know, I never plan these things. I'm kind of not the planner of the family. So, let's see if we can get down here while I take this right out. Okay. Hmm. It's not working too good. <laughs> All right. Back to plan one. Okay, the butterfly. Okay, let's just see if we can pull it up. Are we ready? Because I'm going to repot it after. I don't know what's going on in here. Okay, there's not, okay, the roots are pretty good. Now I'm going to show you, there's nothing rotten because I do not, uh, I grow in bark. Now when this gets watered, it will, we will have some green ones. Okay, so what I'm seeing, I'm going to give you a close-up of everything I see here. Okay, these will go nice and 
green when they get watered. Okay, I think even though it's in a big one, this dry winter, the problem is I think I should water them all halfway through the week. Now these dry ones here, they can, they, I can take them off. They're ones that I see have a broke, maybe got broke when I repotted it. If you can see um, right there. Yeah, they're ones that had some damage. The rest does not look too bad. So what I'm going to do is just lay that down there. It knows I'm looking after it. And it knows what I want to do. So uh, this is all good. We do not see rot, but do you see this long stem? Okay, here we go. Let's see. I can get right here. From up here where the green starts, all the flowers that have been cut off in past years. And down, down. Oh, it's long. I know, I know, but I'm not. If I see green roots coming out up here, then I would not mind taking this off. And that's what they do a lot of the times. But if I don't have green roots coming up here, it's staying how it is. Okay, now, now that was the little sad thing. Now we're going to do something a little happier. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put this pot up here because you don't have to watch me repot it. Sorry if I'm not. I'm holding this with one hand. You know, that's what happens when you're not a professional. But I do want, I did want to show you what I do when I bring an orchid home. So this is the orchid we picked. They were on special today. Mom and I couldn't resist. Jack says, you guys, where are you going to put it? Well, anyway, why did we pick this? Okay, the leaves are healthy. And there is a little root coming here. This is a good sign. There's one here. Those ones that are poking up can stay poking up. And they, we won't lose them on a media change. But what am I going to do? I'm going to try and get that down there. I'm going to take it I, out of this is the pot it came in. Okay. Now, tomorrow I will be repotting this, probably after I finish watering. I don't know, do you guys want to see another repot? I could do a repot and try and show it closer. Not show me, but just show a real close job of doing one. So I'm considering that. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I have the bark up. I haven't got it soaking yet, but I have picked it up. So what I'm going to do now is um, we'll take this off. So you've just got your orchid home. You picked the healthiest one you could find. Now, getting it out of here might be... Okay, we'll just squeeze this pot a little and see if we can get it out. Now, I'm going to... Let's see get the best hold on this I can, maybe like this. So I leave, I leave the, um, the wires in that hold the inflorescence. Here it comes. Okay, here we go. So this is, there's no side air holes, there's just the bottom. But this is the best way they can do, but you see, you always have the roots that are on the outside that are the happiest because the water goes down there and it, they're still getting air through the side of the pot or whatever. So what I'm going to do, this is what I do when I get one home. I'm not repotting it, but I am, these just came in and they put them on, so boy, they look good on the outside. So, but what I do, as soon as I get home, and it's way in here that you're concerned about. So. It's looking pretty good. All I do until tomorrow is try and just break some of this up so it's not sitting in there any longer than it has to. So here we are. We're going to loosen up this side. And uh, tomorrow 
I'll be repotting it. So now that I broke it up a bit and the air can get in there, I'm going to just set it in this pot. This is the one I hope it's going to go into because I have a shortage of pots. Carolyn, you have to make some or something. <laughs> okay, this is a pot it's going to go into. There's not room for a lot of bark in there, but that's okay. You know, um, it needs some bark, but it needs airspace and drainage. So we'll make sure it has that. We're going to repot it tomorrow. And uh, then that's it. So uh, we'll try and get to that tomorrow. And there's a view of the window from the distance. And when I'm in the kitchen, this is what I get to look at. That's why I like them with me. Because they get my... Uh, when I'm breathing out, they love that, and then they'll give me oxygen. We got a bit of wind coming. They said there's some real cold weather coming from back east. We're going to get it. So there's a bit of breeze out there. And uh, so that's it. And thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> if you want another repot video. <laughs> okay, bye for now. And thank you very much. Bye.